royal ladies' favorite desserts, they might surprise you included, Kate Middleton, the Queen, Meghan Markle, Princess Diana. We do love a good pud here be it an indulged chocolate dessert, a cheeky cheesecake or a fun ice cream sundae. Those royal ladies may have super healthy daily diets, but they are partial to the odd sweet treat sometimes too. With the country's best chefs cooking for you, how on earth does one resist such amazing desserts? This pudding is one of our favorites too. The wife of Prince William is known to be a fan of this popular British pud. Chef Rody Werrett of the Old Booton in Stanford Ingley, Berkshire, has previously served the Duchess and told people. Kate is always discreet and has always complimented the dishes with great kindness. For dessert, her favorite is sticky toffee pudding. It's moist and spongy. Former royal chef Darren McGrady would also serve the dessert at Buckingham Palace with added chocolate chunks. He previously revealed that the Queen was also a big fan of the dessert. Double quote. The Queen loved this at Sandringham Palace when it was really cold outside, when she was at Balmoral Castle, and the rest of the royal family did too, he said. This mouth-watering recipe is a firm favorite within the royal family the Queen. Prince William and Camilla are all fans of the cake that serves as a tea time treat or after dinner dessert. Clarence House recently shared a step by step recipe to making your very own chocolate biscuit cake from a royal cookbook, seasonal recipes from Buckingham Palace. The great thing about this cake is it doesn't need baking, just chilling in the fridge and it contains rich tea biscuits. Need we say more? Her Majesty's former chef Darren McGrady recently shared a video on his YouTube page revealing that a boozy chocolate mousse is one of the Queen's favorite desserts. He said, it's no secret that the Queen loved chocolate, and the darker chocolate the better. But this one has whiskey in it and it's so easy to make. The recipe simply includes melted dark chocolate with egg yolks and a dash of coffee and whiskey, topped with whipped cream and drizzles of chocolate. Darren revealed it was a royal favorite at both big banquets at Buckingham Palace and quieter picnics at Balmoral Castle. The wife of Prince Harry likes to treat herself to a tasty dessert sometimes too. And previously shared the recipe for one of her favorites chocolate patty gato on her now closed lifestyle blog the tig. Meghan wrote, oh, how I love the ritual of cooking. Baking, not so much. There's something about the technicality of it that stifles my inner rebel, no dash of this or extra spoonful of that. There's a science to baking and the measurements matter ever so much. Suffice to say. When I do decide to make a go at the whole baking thing, it needs to be worth it. It needs to be soul satisfying like a good hug on a bad day. And, clearly, it needs to taste unquestionably delicious. Be it Valentine's Day, or any other day where you want to treat yourself, or your honey, to a little, well, sugar. This chocolate cake, with its gooey center and picture perfect presentation, is no brainer. All my baking quandaries go out the window when I roll up my sleeves to make this one. Serve with ice cream, fresh berries, or just perfectly on its own. The former Duchess of York has kept herself busy during lockdown by baking with her daughter Princess Eugenie and it seems the pair are fans of that classic cake, lemon drizzle. During an appearance on X Factor 2019 winner and good friend Dalton Harris podcast, City Island podcast, Sarah revealed. I haven't seen you Janie so much and so now it's been a total joy to spend real quality time with her. For the first time in 30 years I even baked a lemon drizzle cake with her, so the first thing is that it's fantastic. Now, this is a real British classic and one of the most comforting puddings you can make. Diana's former chef Darren McGrady said, bread and butter pudding was Princess Diana's all time favorite pudding. She used to come into the kitchen at Sandringham for seconds after lunch. When I was cooking for the Queen and told the male's Nigel Dempster that Darren makes the best bread and butter pudding in the world. The ladies' desserts, we are very surprised. Quite intriguing, fiddly, and also full of nutrients. It can be seen that each lady's preferences speak for themselves. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, would you please help us like, share, and subscribe our channel? Wish you happy to see our videos. Thank you very much.